Welcome to our second tape of Shanghai, China, taken in China in October of 2013. One of the things that surprised me in China was the fact they had Christmas stores with all sorts of uh, Christmas decorations. The store was huge. We saw them in several cities. Prices are cheaper here in Walmart, uh, even though it's probably still all made in China. That's bamboo. They use it for scaffolding on, hot uh, on buildings. We actually saw a 10-story building that all the scaffolding was made out of the bamboo tied together with wire ties. This is a bride. They, they take a lot of photos around town. We're at a temple now known for the Jade Buddha. This is some of the artwork outside. The koi fish bring luck. The Jade Buddha is actually carved from a piece of jade. It's about seven or eight feet long. We're outside of the general tourist area here. We walked all over the place. Uh, I just thought the sidecar was interesting. It was too western as it owned it. it now it's becoming to get dusk. Uh, the sunset is coming. And we're walking on the Bund, taking a look across over to Puga, uh, Pudong. And that's your kind of stereotypical Shanghai nighttime photo. We're actually walking toward a, um, a boat trip to cruise the river at dark. The lights on these buildings come up with all sorts of various artistic uh, pictures and uh, ads and very artistic um, light shows. We're just kind of panning from the Bund side of Shanghai over to the new section, which is Pudong. These tour boats ran a little bit earlier. There's always a lot of tourist boats out on the river. That's the Astor House Hotel. Beautiful, beautiful. We didn't go inside. The outside is gorgeous. This is a street we walked to get our boat, and now we're out, of, out, actually, out on the boat.
This is a living wall uh, full of flowers and things. We saw quite a few of this in China. It's starting to become over here. They love their birds. A lot of people take them to the street vendors. They hang them outside during the day. You can see the crowds of, uh, or the, the scores of motorcycles. This is another one of those water painters onto this, the, the pavement. And that little boy at Beth was just really interested in it. Again, they, uh, the Chinese live in the big apartments and they come out and utilize these parks a lot. Here they're dancing. <laughs> We saw this in several cities during our stay in China. I just got a kick out of Mr. Donut. Street vendor selling citrus fruits. This reminded me of Rodeo Drive. That's actually a Christmas display in one of the big windows there. This is some street food we ordered. These biscuits were stuffed with meat. They cost about a dime a piece. They were delicious. Notice the laundry hanging. This is an underground shopping center. We're going down the escalator. Again, it gets low, so they say, mind your head. They're not responsible for bumps. That's a sign on the seven don'ts that you, to be polite. I don't think many of them have read it with smokers and things. That's a Starbucks coffee shop. This is a German-based beer hall. This is going to the Chinese Communist Museum. Of course, they're, they're stating all the virtues and great things that the uh, Chinese uh, communist has done for the country. That's why they work on these bicycles. China has a big bo uh, building boom going on, so you'll see a lot of modern buildings, but they're filling this lake up with this garden hose. There's a lady hanging her wash out. Notice the, the laundry on the lamppost. This is a very famous antique market. Uh, frankly, most of the antiques look like they may have been made last week. That's a new Mercedes in front of these old, old buildings. I don't know if he was a slumlord or if he lived there.
This was a square with uh, several museums. That round building was the art museum of uh, Shanghai. This is Nanjing Street, a famous exclusive shopping area in Shanghai. And again, just motorcycles and scooters parked all over the place. That's actually a police patrol boat going down the little river. That's meat. It's hanging out to dry. More meat just hanging out there. Ducks and goose. Some more street food that was kind of like a crepe with egg on it. We saw it made it, it was delicious. There's a little store that sells nothing but socks. Video's coming to an end. I want to thank you again for viewing and keep in mind there's more available at uh, youtube.com slash jimdairy1.